good morning children did you all read section 1 of the third lesson that is oliver finds a home now it is about a boy who was living in an orphanage he ran away from the orphanage because he was very badly treated there by the people and where did he land he came across a gang of robbers or thieves and they took him to rob a house and what happened the servants of the house caught him he was shot on the arm yes and those robbers they ran away leaving oliver in that house so he was wounded now he was injured and there are two ladies in the house one an old lady called mrs maylie and a young lady called miss rose and now they had called a doctor to come and treat oliver now the doctor has come he is taking the two ladies to meet Oliver and when they see that the thief was a very small boy they were so much surprised and felt sorry for the boy. Now we go on to section 2. In the next room Miss Rose continued think how young he is perhaps he has never known a mother's care perhaps he has never had a home poor poor boy oh auntie don't let them send this boy to prison. So she felt sorry for this poor boy she said he is he is a young man perhaps he must not have had mother's care he did not get a mother's love a father's love he did not get the care of his parents so we don't know what happened in his childhood so she is telling her aunt mrs maylie not to send him to prison prison means jail because he was a robber now the police will come and catch him he'll be taken to the jail so she said please don't call the police my dear said the old lady do you think that i would harm one hair of his head now what the meaning of one hair harm one hair of his head means would cause the smallest hurt or injury to him so the old lady is also feeling sorry for the boy she is telling rose do you think i will do him any harm i will not hurt him in any way i too like the boy I haven't much longer to live. I must help all I can. What can I do to help this boy, Dr. Losburn? So she is asking the doctor, well, how can I help this boy? I want to do something for this boy. Let me think, said the kind-hearted doctor. For some moments, he looked thoughtful. Then he asked, can we trust the servants to say nothing about the boy? So she is asking doctor, to think of some idea how she can help this boy so the doctor thought for some time and then he is asking her can i or can we trust the servants now what's the meaning of that that she is asking whether the servants will go and tell anyone that a thief is there in their house and the police will come and catch him and go so what did miss maylie say yes mrs maylie told him they will do as i tell them so she is the lady of the house she is the one who is running the house so she is telling my servants will obey me they will do only what i say good said the doctor but first of all let us hear what the boy has to say when he wakes up okay then good so he is telling first let me hear what the boy has to say he is fast asleep now the doctor has given him medicine his arm has been tied up and he is taking rest now if we find him innocent we will help him if he is innocent if he did not do anything wrong then we will help him but if we find that he is guilty then we must hand him over to the police do you agree but if we find when we hear his story and when we come to know that he has done something wrong then we must hand him over to the police the two ladies readily agreed for they were sure that oliver was innocent so the two ladies agreed to what Dr. Losburn said because they knew by looking at his face they knew that he was innocent boy. He did not do anything wrong. Oliver slept on for many hours. So you can imagine he was very very tired. In the evening when he woke up he was very weak. He was feeling weak. So by the time he woke up it was evening. But he was anxious to tell his story. Even though he was feeling weak and tired, he wanted to tell them all his story. The ladies wept as they heard of his miserable life. The two ladies, 
they started crying when they heard oliver's sad story miserable life when he led the life in the orphanage how they treated him so these two ladies felt very sorry for him the doctor tried hard to hide his tears even the doctor was feeling sorry and his eyes were full of tears he was trying to hide it they did their best to comfort the boy oliver slept that night with a smile on his lips he had found a home so after telling the story he felt that his mind was clear and there was nothing in his mind he had tell, told them everything that had happened in the orphanage and also in this house when they gang of thieves came with him to rob the house so that night he was very happy and he slept with a smile on his lips because he had found a new home now when the police came to ask questions mr giles and brittles were ready with their story so the police also came there so what happened mr giles and brittles the two servants in the house they were ready with the story they had formed another story to tell the police oliver had accidentally wounded himself while playing with a gun he had nothing to do with the robbery the house breakers were two evil looking men the servants with the help of dr losburn told their story well and the police believed them and oliver was left in peace so when the police came the servants of the house and dr losburn and mr giles and brittles all of them told the same story that while playing with the gun he got wounded he was a boy living in their house and the thieves were actually two evil looking men the house breakers means the thieves they had uh, oliver had nothing to do with the robbery he was not among the gang of thieves that is what the servants and all said and the police believed them so oliver was left in peace now he was very happy and he stayed in that home oliver found love and kindness now he got all the care the attention the kindness the love from the two ladies indeed mrs maylie and rose loved the boy so did dr losburn so all three of them loved this boy very much at the beginning of spring the maylies took oliver to their house in the country so in the spring season they changed their house they had another house in the countryside in the village area they took oliver there there the fruit trees were in blossom in blossom means all were flowering spring season you know the garden and the fields were full of flowers and how the birds sang oliver had never known such peace and such happiness you remember in the poem written in march we came across the spring season remember the trees are in full bloom the birds are happy the garden and the fields are also full of fresh green grass and every morning oliver went to an old gentleman who taught him to read and to write he went for walks with rose and mrs maylie so every morning an old gentleman came to teach him how to read and how to write he had not gone to school and he went for morning walk and evening walk with miss rose and mrs maylie in the evening what did they do they sat together and talked or rose read aloud to them often rose played the piano and sang so evening time they sat beside the sat round the fire they talked to each other rose read stories for them and also she played the piano old mrs maylie loved to listen to this so did oliver every night he slept peacefully in a clean bed in his own room so he was given a separate room to sleep and he was happy to stay with these two ladies three months passed by they were the months of perfect happiness for oliver twist so three months he stayed in the maylie's house and he was very very happy during that time of stay in the house now we go to the exercise children that is sum it up now we are i'm giving you choosing and giving you the exercise and questions because this lesson is also included in the exam 
Now number the boxes 1 to 5 in the sequence in which the events take place in the story. Now the first one is the doctor comes to see Oliver. Second one is the doctor takes the ladies to meet Oliver. 3. The ladies feel sorry for Oliver. 4. The doctor suggests they tell the police that Oliver has hurt himself accidentally. And the last one, Oliver lives at Mrs. Maley's house for 3 months. Now exercise D, tick the correct answers. Number 1, Mrs. Maley and Rose were surprised when they saw the thief because he was just a child. That's the correct answer. Second one, Dr. Losburn had come to treat the injured boy is the correct answer. 3. The two ladies decided to keep Oliver with them because they wanted to give him a happy life. Now, who spoke these lines and to whom? What did the speakers mean don't want? Only who spoke these lines and to whom? An hour and 13 minutes ma'am. Who said that? Mr. Giles? No, he said it to Mrs. Maley. Now, in that, I am doing number 1, number 3 and number 4. Now, number 3 is, don't let them send this boy to prison. It was Miss Rose who told this to Mrs. Maley. Then the fourth one, they will do as I tell them. That is Mrs. Maley telling to Dr. Losburn. Now, find sentences in the text that show that the statements below are correct. Miss Rose was an attractive young woman. Here also, I am only doing number 1 and number 4. That is, the other was a good looking young girl of 17. And the last one, fourth one, Oliver was happy at the country house. That means, he slept peacefully. He lived, he had found a home. He slept that night with a smile on his lips. Now think and answer don't want. Play with the words worksheet H. A type of tree that symbolizes strength, that shows strength is the oak tree. O A K. Then second one, a flower that grows in water, that is lily. Third one, thoughts about what to do in particular situation, that is ideas. Next one, one of the colors in the rainbow, violet. Pain in the ear, ear ache. Fixed something that was broken, repaired. Now choose the most suitable feeling words to complete these sentences. I was very dashed about studying at a new school but soon came to love it. Three words are given there. Happy, nervous and jealous. So the correct answer is I was very nervous. Second one, Jaya likes to going to summer camps but dash her sister very much. Likes, enjoys or misses. The answer is misses her sister very much. Third one, Sophie is very dash for all the help you gave her. Excited, upset or grateful. It is grateful. Fourth one, I was so dash while watching the film that I fell asleep. Happy, bored, contented. It is bored. And the fifth one, Ramana could not understand Rahul's sudden rudeness. He was dashed by the change in his friend. That is puzzled. So we stop here. We will continue in the next class.